Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Ernie Shock, back at it again with Arc Mobile Evolved. So for today's video, I will be teaching you guys how how to easily, and when I say easily, I mean easily, easily tame a manta. It's a pretty simple tame. However, a lot of people overestimate it, and they think that's super duper hard to tame. But it's pretty simple if you just follow these steps and make this cage. So I have made a cage. And I'll, there's going to be two parts, there's going to be me getting the food, which it needs Angela gel, so I'm going to be getting some Angela gel, but then the second part of the video is basically where I'm going to be taming one and making, well not making the pen, but so you can see what the pen looks like, because it's a pretty easy pen to make. Alright, so let's just do this. So apparently I get better eyesight with these goggles, so... It says underwater sight improved though, so. I don't know, it's kind of look ugly. Look weird. Now, I'm just going to take them off and use a minor helmet so I can get that light in since it's a bit dark. So, let's get the minus helmet. Now, let's equip that. Cool, okay, so now we've got light, we can breathe underwater, let's do this. Alright, so. Bring your biggest, meanest, tankiest creature out there that goes underwater. Now you can do that, do this with a pike or a crossbow, but however, it's not suggested because there are a lot of deadly creatures underwater. Right, let's just quickly upgrade some stamina on this car. Alright, so the Megalodon, Mega Death. It's been a personal favorite of an underwater super. I've had this Megalodon for a long time, so it's got a lot of health. So I'm just going to go get some Angela Gel. Now, how do I get Angela Gel? It's pretty simple. You just go to the bottom of the sea, and there's this creature called an Angela. Now, you can call it Angela if you want to, but I just prefer to call it Angela. So it's an Angela, and basically, when you kill it, you it drops Angela Gel. And you only need to kill, like, once, so it's not even that hard of a mission. And they're pretty much everywhere underwater. You've just got to find them. Um, oh, do you see that? That is an Angela. Oh no. Eels. Now, you can actually tame electric eels, but I would not suggest it. Now, you may be wondering why my Megalodon has zero stamina I'm still fighting. Well, if you're not aware, the Megalodon is the, like, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, stamina like he does not um the torpor 2000 once he gets 2000 he faints so he's almost invincible to fainting oh there's an angel right there now they're a bit of tr they're a bit tricky because they like hit you and then they run and then they hit you so you just need to be sure that you're chasing them and they're pretty simple tames the manta and remember there is a daily mission and that is Tay Manta, and daily missions do come and go. Like, for example, for example, have 50 black pills in your inventory. That will come again. Let me just finish it off. And you only need like 10 Angela, but if you have a 10 times bomb, you only need one Angela. Now, however, if you are struggling. To get Angela, that's fine, just trade with someone, unless it's a solar wheel, then just try to get a Megalodon, try to get a Mosasaurus, or try to get a good underwater fighter. A Duncan is not suggested as a fighter, it's more of an oil farmer, but you can use that too. Alright, so now that we have the food, so let's just check out. 32, that is enough to take, like, uh, three, three Mantas, and be aware, you can also use Angela. I've heard that you can use Angela gel for fuel. Now that could be for a finding food or whatever. I'm not too sure about that. But you can use that as fuel. I've heard that. So it literally says it right here. It's a flame for a long duration. So it's a fuel. I mean, it could be something else, but it sounds like it's a fuel because they're saying for a long duration so let's just put it here all right so now that we have the food in order to tame it now i'll see you oh boy it's in the megalodon but i'll see you on the other side where we have a manta 
in a trap and will trap it with an easy technique that I think. Alrighty, we're back. So now that we have the food, let's go tame a manta. So, what you want to do is you want to have these resources I'm about to show you. Well, you want one gateway, one door, well, one dino, um, like, gateway thing. Now, you're gonna want ten stone foundations. You want, you, you want two stone foundations, two railing, and, like, ten... <laughs> Yeah, 10 no, 20 walls, sorry, I just got a bit confused. So that's the amount that you need, the numbers. So now you want a frog, okay? Or you want a good jumper. So what you're gonna do is, so it's gonna come up here. All right, so this is the cage. It should look like this once you build it. So let's go build, go build, let's go get a manta, so basically what you're going to do is when you get the manta you're just going to quickly go here and you're going to wait for the door to automatically close, now if it's like PC or something you can actually set it where it automatically closes or it manually closes, but on mobile you can't do that, so manta right off the bat, they're pretty easy to find, they're practically everywhere, now you can make it go cray cray by attacking you or you can just just go near it and it'll get super angry at you and it'll just follow you for days. So there's a megalodon on there, which is not looking nice, but honestly, it's kind of fine. Now, I don't care how many mantas we tame here, but it's just like a random amount of how many they come. So let's. Uh, is they still here? Alright, let's just open up. Let's just open up the cage on the side. Now you want to jump out. So now they're stuck in, okay? Now believe me, everything in this, um, uh, what's going on? There's, there's someone in there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay, so there's, there's creatures in there. Um, just wait for it to automatically close. So basically, it wants Angela gel, which is what we collected, and it doesn't really want that much. Now, the door is finally closed, so... Everything in this place has a purpose. The walls is to keep it from escaping, the gates to put them in, and the foundations and the railing are for a specific reason that you can figure out soon. Alright, so. Here what we do is we quickly just spam it, quickly um, feed him some angelo gel until they're hungry. Then you just jump here and wait. So I'll see you there once it's tamed. Alright, well if you repeated that process, you should now have them tamed. So, I tamed the mantas, so now the mantas are here. And honestly, they're super easy to tame. You just need the right sea creatures and you can do it with ease. And mantas, people underestimate antas, ma <laughs> antas, mantas of how hard they are to tame, but they're pretty simple. So, you can like sell them to people and you get an okay amount, like maybe like 30 ingots or 40 ingots or 50. And you can make a decent profit for just breeding them because they're pretty simple to breed because they don't lay eggs and you don't have the hatch and all that stuff because it's a sea creature. So, basically, that's how you tame a manta. Pretty simple. Now, you can ride it easily with a saddle. You just chuck a saddle on it. I think it's like level 38 or something. You unlock it. Um, and Angel Gel, you can use it as fuel. Oh, wait, no, I already said that. But yeah, you can use it as a fuel. And it's, it's an okay fuel, but... That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you did enjoy of taming a manta. Now, <laughs> I'm going to drown, dude. I'm going to drown. I'm so dead. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of me taming a manta. Now, you can go tame a manta yourself. Pretty simple. Um, <laughs> I've got myself stuck in a pickle beat. I don't have to see that. Anyways, peace out.